Hello. Um, sorry, I was checking. Let me get this closer so that you can get a better experience. Welcome, everybody, to this um, first day of conferences. Not first day of the conference, but the first day of talks, presentations, panels, events, and things that are going to be happening here today at Star East 2023. Actually, I was uh, taking a look here at the guide, the always helpful manual, <laughs> pun intended, to what is going to happen with the conference during uh, these two awesome days full of uh, several tracks, actually, I'm checking, and it's there are so many tracks, so many things that are going to be happening today, and that I would love to share with you a little bit. Before we go into checking everything that will happen today here at the conference, why don't we uh, go and take a look at what is happening around here and uh, how is the experience going to be. So I'm going to stand up, uh, get out of my lazy, uh, comfortable couch, and oh, it has been a uh, few long days busy. These little old legs are getting used to. So let's turn around a little bit and show you what is happening here in the area. As you can see, this is a huge convention area in the Rosen Center Hotel. Beautiful place, uh, beautiful chandeliers and uh, chairs, carpet. I'm talking about carpets. But the place is beautiful, super extensive, super, um, how to say, I like the vibe because we're starting to have some people. Let's turn around so that you can see how people are starting to arrive. We have people that are starting to get uh, some breakfast, some goodies. I'm going to show you exactly what uh, we're going to be having. But first, what happens at this conference? First step that you have to do, well, we have to register. So follow me and let's go into the registration area. This is a long path, as I told you is a large uh, place, the Rosen Center Conference uh, area zone. I don't know how to call this. But first thing when you walk in, I don't know if you can see here, the signs, um, uh, courtesy of Signet Digital. So they are helping us to know where to go. As we are getting closer, you will see here a very useful set of instructions. Uh, the, where is the registration and batch pickup, which is what we are interested into right now. So let's follow up these steps. We are very next to the bo grand ballroom. The junior ballroom is at there at the bottom, where we are going to be uh, having the keynote in about under an hour, five, 55 minutes. So all these areas is where the talks, the conference, the lunch, the breakfast, all that is going to be happening among these two days. In the grand ballroom, um, we're going to walk over there in a moment, <clears throat> is where the exhibition area is going to be happening. Very big. We're going to have a walkthrough. But um, later, I think tomorrow, let's see. Let's see how the day uh, evolves. So let's keep moving towards. <coughs> the registration area, where we are already seeing some movement, action, people coming and getting ready, getting their badges, which is what we are going to check in a moment, because this is a, a lot of different stops that we're going to be doing in this uh, walkthrough. So as you can see, people coming from above, coming from there, from here, from everywhere, all over the place, and we are getting close into the registration area. This place is set up, open, and ready for since Sunday, Saturday, I believe, because the tutorial started um, uh, way back then. But today is when all the flurry of people was going to flow through this area. We're going to come and get on these registration machines. You click on check in, you type your information, and our uh, star. East assistants, assistants are going to be helping you to set up, print your badge, and you're going to get some special, you see, we have in our conference badges, some special tags now. I play in traffic. 
I meet or exceed expectations, who doesn't want one of these tags? The eh team, I'm not sure about this, probably, I don't know, it has a Canadian flag. If anyone can tell me what does this mean, <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Um, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and living the dream. Ain't that cool? Uh, very, very cute. But oh my god, I just noticed there are some others on this side. Okay, this one is cool. A tattoo guru. Sadly, I'm very ignorant, no tattoos here, but I've seen people here that can totally be tattoo gurus <laughs> in this event. They're another interesting. Oh, I love this one. I see no reason to act my age. Definitely. Um, you know me. <laughs> um, oh, this one is cute. A pickle, a deal, deal with it. I cut carbs, let us turn up the beat. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, I don't know who movie uh, quote. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Surely you're serious. Uh, what was it, Naked Gun? I think it was Naked Gun. Uh, this one, for everyone watching, never grow up, please. <laughs> Stay young and hard. So let's keep moving and see uh, what other things we have in terms of action here. Because as you can see there at the bottom, there's already people <clears throat> starting to register. We're just starting. And that's why you don't see that much movement. And of course, people are um, getting food, being fed. We have here our stream master who's helping us for you to watch everything on the Fitloop platform. Yes, that's right. Uh, Jason, Jason, are you excited? Are you ready? Very excited, very ready. We've been preparing for a long time. So yeah. Glad we're here. It's been a couple of long days getting ready and set up. And <clears throat> this guy has been uh, keeping up with all the stuff, problems, and situations. Uh, he has been having trouble with me, but um, I hope no you. <laughs> no trouble at all. Uh, I keep coming. Jason, I need this. Jason, I need that. Dude, let's get that. Uh, he's awesome. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, amigo. Yep. We will continue the tour, and I think everything is flowing. Let's see how things go. Great. Good luck. Thank Let you. Let me know if everything. He's, get, he's the one that is going to tell us if, uh, that something is bad, or uh, were we going to have a cartwheel or something like that? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm disappointed. No, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Let's yep. keep with the tour. Thank yes. you, Jason. Thank you. Let's keep moving. As you can see, <clears throat> there are some, not backpacks, uh, Tashis, uh, just regular bags that they are giving from the conference. From uh, who's the sponsor for the bags? Oh yes, yes, Digital AI bags are sponsored by Digital AI. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have also some T-shirts for the event. Those are the first things that you are going to get as soon as you register. Uh, uh, sponsored by Magni Magnify uh, AI yeah. Magnif AI. I never know how to pronounce some of this, but uh, Magnif AI. Thank you very much for sponsoring all uh, the t-shirts, the bags, and uh, let's come here as well. We have <coughs> a VIP area here at the bottom. There are some VIPs. It's gonna, it has been my mysterious. How does this work? Um, if you have any questions, put them on the chat. What is this VIP thing? It's um, how can I be VIP? We'll see, we'll figure out and get some answers among these days. I promise that has been a very good question uh, that we, I, I did it like, I wanna be VIP, Why, uh, what do I need? But um, <coughs> we'll clear that uh, mystery soon. Let's get now to the main door to the exposition uh, area where as you can see here, beautiful uh, arches covering everything. You can see there listed all the sponsors for the event all the expo hours, all the information of the exhibitors, so that you can come here and see like, huh, who am I gonna meet here? We have uh, Tricentis, the premier, uh, premier sponsor. You see them listed here on the list, and, and the listed on the list, yeah, I'm, I'm sharp today. So uh, our friends from Brightest, I see them, there's OpenText, Magnif II, uh, Libwork, so we have several uh, organizations that are sponsoring and helping us. I have some special permissions because right now no one is uh, allowed to get in. Let's see how the magic is happening and take a look, just a, a, a sneak peek, because we are gonna have a full walkthrough later 
through the exposition area. But we want to see what is happening in there. While well, everything is quiet, let's get in there. Oh my God, this is so different from what we are about to see later today. Can you hear? Do you hear it? You don't hear it, right? Because nothing, there's no noise. It's so quiet. People are setting in. Soon, all the sponsors, all the exhibitors are going to start putting, um, turning on TVs. There's going to be noise. There's going to be movement. There's going to be so much action. But as I promised, uh, we're going to come back later, and you'll see the action. But I wanted you to be able to take a sneak peek of what is happening at the early hours of the exhibition center. Beautiful ballroom, beautiful area, and lots of action coming soon. Let's go back to the start of our um, tour that we are going to be doing through this area. Let's close here because, well, the door was closed. We want to... Is it closing? Come on, come on. Okay. So, let's keep moving. There are so many other things that are happening out here in the area of the exhibition... Uh, not exhibition, the reception area? I think it's a reception area. So, <coughs> let's see what is the first thing. There are several things that are going to be happening through the conference uh, in this area, in this general area. The first one that I wanted to show you is um, the one-on-ones. You can get some appointment, to call it in a way, with uh, some of our speakers, masters of testing, gurus, uh, great people that are where they said, it's cool, I want to talk with people, I want uh, to be with them and give them an opportunity to give me some questions for me to answer them or have a conversation. And I see already a list of names here. You can grab the pen. You see all these pages. We're going to see everyone that we have here that uh, we can schedule sometime. If I wanted to, I could come here, write my name on the uh, time frame that each one of these uh, gurus, speakers, awesome testers, fantastic people are going to be available to talk to us. So in no particular order, mostly because we started on this way, uh, the, the amigo Andrew Knight, I mean, you know him, you can schedule ta a time with him from 3, 3.20 and 3.40. So plain, uh, straightforward, uh, the good amigo Andy who just gave a tutorial, a one day or one and a half day tutorial on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, he's available, well, only one slot. <laughs> this, this is uh, interesting, they fly away. So we have, oh my God, I'm gonna butcher her name, Julie Papineau, Papineau, I don't know. Um, and uh, she is here to talk about metrics to benefit continuous delivery confidence. So if you want to know about metrics on continuous delivery, which is super important, uh, go and talk to her. Um, sorry, we skipped. Uh, Andrew Knight, ask me anything about testing and automation. So he's very open to talk about uh, testing and automation. Now, moving on to the left, we have our friend Adam Auerbach. Back, back, I don't know. Um, you can talk to him about leadership transformation and DevOps. And there's another one that is already pretty booked, as you can tell. Uh, lots of people that want already uh, have a, a word with him and understand a little bit about leadership tran transformation and this mysterious uh, topic of DevOps. Next on the, the list, I was going to say, but this is a board. Next on the board, we have uh, still doing manual testing with Willetta Letty. Uh, oh my God, uh, sorry for your last name, Willetta. Our Rahman, I hope I'm saying it right. So you can also schedule some time with her to see how can you uh, probably get out of doing so much manual testing still. It's important, but we shouldn't be doing that much anymore. Moving on. We have a double combo here left to <coughs> the previous uh, one-on-ones. We have Prashant Patil and Mark Jimenez uh, from Dell Technologies. 
if you want to talk to them about high octane DevOps and supercharged CI CD pipelines. This one is very interesting as well because if you want to know about the pipelines, how to integrate, and how, again, this DevOps uh, unicorn power thing, you can figure it out. Next on the list, <coughs> we have Alex Martins, or Martins, I don't know, uh, coming from Relix. Don't break the CX, test like the real users with CX and observability and AI. CX, I believe it's uh, customer experience. So yeah, it's very important. We want to know how to keep our customers happy and that their experience is really awesome. Moving on, we have Payson Hall. My amigo Payson is, um, you can schedule some time to talk to him about negotiation, scheduling, or general project management. That's very interesting because uh, project management, our IT projects, everything that we do on a regular basis is almost like a negotiation. It's um, humans. We are humans doing all these type of things, right? Okay, moving on. We have now uh, Chris Harbert, uh, os blah, take two. test orchestration and automation. Very important so that you can automate the automations with test orchestration. A little bit redundant. Packed, only one available. Hurry up if you want to. Next, uh, Brianna Roby. She's going to be talking about test leadership. Super important. Uh, yeah, test leadership is a big topic nowadays. I am even curious if uh, I could write my name and, hey, Brianna, what can you explain me about test leadership? Moving on, we have Adriana, or Adriana, no, Ariadna, Ariadna, Ariadna Treva. Uh, from Parser. Uh, she's going to be talking about quality and management. Again, another one pretty booked, only one available. Check it out. Let's keep moving. We have still nine to check. Oh, I see some faces again here. I think one page was repeated. So now, yeah, Alex Martins, I believe that uh, we saw him earlier. Don't break CX, yeah. Now, the amigo Theron Melrose. Uh, performance tester. He's doing a talk today about performance testing and you can come and talk to him about performance testing with agile product management. He was at my tutorial on Monday. Uh, very good fellow. Stay tuned because we're, if everything goes well, we're going to have him later today in the performance testing panel. Stay tuned. So both of his uh, spots are available. Come and ask him to learn a little bit more about performance. Moving on, we have Boris uh, Rubel, Brubel, I'm not pre uh, sure. Oh, Brubel, yeah. Uh, I know the friend Bo Boris, I met him uh, on Monday. No, yesterday. Ah, it's been a long week. Wait, it's Wednesday? It's just Wednesday? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, um, so he, uh, if you schedule a one-on-one -on -one with him, you'll be able to learn about how to integrate accessibility testing in your test automation with Boris uh, Vrubel. Moving on, we have Terry, Terry, uh, music, music, it's an awesome last name if it's music, how you pronounce it. Uh, with her, you will be able to come and talk about agile and earned value management. That's earned value management, that's a very interesting concept. Never heard of it, uh, it's speaking my uh, curiosity. Earned value management, that's, we, we, we always want earned value to increase what we have. Uh, Adam, I think uh, we saw Adam earlier in the other pages. That's dangerous because if it's the same times and different people can uh, book time, yeah, uh-oh, Adam may be in trouble. <laughs> okay, next, we have Marina Didkowska. I hope uh, I didn't butcher her, her name or last name. Uh, wow, this is very interesting. Ukrainian... Ukrainian, uh, I'm pronouncing in Spanish, sorry. Ukrainian lessons learned. How to build continuous testing and project management from the trenches. Wow, this is really interesting uh, to figure out how they are doing it. I have some friends there in Ukraine and I know that they're having challenges and they are keeping up in diverse ways. Definitely book some time. This sounds seriously interesting. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I need some lime or something. We have uh, Mark, oh my God, uh, Schettenhelm. I hope that I pronounced it uh, well. Product manager from BNC. Effective testing on the mainframe. 
Remember that not long ago we were at um, CMG Impact talking about mainframes. They are still relevant, they are still important, and you are gonna still have a for sure job uh, opportunity if you are into mainframes because there are not that many people still into it. So take a look, very interesting if you are curious. Now, we have Tom uh, Stein, Stein, uh CTO of Coveros, uh, DevOps, DevSecOps, all these uh, adding extra flavors into the uh, between Dev in Ops. The most popular that I have seen is uh, DevSec Security Ops and uh, Test Dev Test Ops. That's the one that we are doing here. But with uh, Tom, you'll be able to have a one-on-one -on -one to talk about DevOps and DevSecOps. Very interesting. Only one available. And last but not least, it's just like the order that we were walking into, right? Nothing against anyone. We have Anand Bakmar from Essence of Testing. Uh, you can talk to him about testing and test automation. It's very generic, I mean, very important and um, big topic here at the conference. It's something that uh, we're coming here to talk about QA, automation, testing, principles, best practices, and all these modern technologies that we have, AI, Agile, DevOps, CICD, the cloud, the almighty and ever-growing cloud, ever-growing because uh, some people are not careful with them. Um, all the continues. Yesterday there were some interesting reactions to the mentions of chat GPT on what the situation can be around that uh, little thingy. And, but well, there are all, those are all of the things that you can learn from all of these awesome gurus, presenters, speakers, uh, tutorial um, presenters, because I recognize some of the faces that were giving tutorials on the, over the past few days. And it's, as you can see, being here gives you an opportunity to schedule some time with these awesome people and get, uh, well, the, the tables still look a little bit uh, not so pretty, they are going to get some mantle and uh, look uh, better, but they are being assembled. It's still early. We are uh, early birds here and wanting to give you the best experience and the best look into what is the deal with this. So in the Genius Testing Bar, you can sign some time, get ready, and talk to one of the awesome experts. Super important. Thing that you can do only here in presence, in person, face to face. But it's beautiful, right? We are back into the real world. Let's keep moving to the next interesting area that we have here at the uh, conference center. Well, at the conference in general. <laughs> People saying hello to the cameras. Everyone is excited to be part of uh, the remote experience here at. Um, Star East 2023. So as you can see here, the test lab plus automation zone. Here today, and Rochelle, our uh, beautiful amiga that is helping us to put everything together, is working hard here to get everything in place. In this area, as you can see, we have in a U-shaped uh, form, a set of tables that will help us <coughs> to do some very interesting experiments it's a test lab where we are going to be doing experiments. I, and actually, when we are walking around here later, uh, friends are walking through and uh, getting together. Ready. Hey, Ready for the beach. <laughs> just one question because yes, um, I know that you are one of the test lab masters. Yes. Uh, would you mind here, Chris Loader, uh, good amigo that uh, usually, I was going to say always, but you usually are yes. uh, almost always. Uh, the test lab master, one of the test one lab of masters. Yeah, uh, because time with Julie. Yeah, I hope to see Julie around and we can talk to her in a moment. But uh, do you mind sharing with the audience what's the deal with the test lab? So the test lab, it's a place where people can come outside of the normal conference and talks. And we have some, um, some brain teasers. We play some different uh, various games, thinking kind of games to get mm -hmm. you to, to process. Um, we've also got some black box testing, so whoever writes the best um, test report will win a prize. Oh, wait, there are prizes? Oh, there are always prizes in the test lab. Um, and we also give away little things ourselves, like bug prizes and things like that. Um, we've also got the robots. People can come and test the robots to see how they get it to go around the track and things like that. So it's a lot of fun. We always have a lot of people dropping by. And I encourage everybody to come by. 
uh, out of all the experiments and cool things that are done in the lab, which one is your favorite, more ex most exciting, or that you think people would be most interested in? Come play some games. Okay. Julie, is, Julie is quite the games master. And, and those games, uh, I have seen people really scratching their heads yes. with the games, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and we had a bunch here last night for the kickoff, and I even had one lady just come to me at breakfast saying how much fun she had. Yeah, I, I have experienced some of those, but you are like, oh my God, they, they blue screen me. Yes. Uh, lots yes, of that's time. That's a great way to put it, <laughs> absolutely. And uh, personal favorite, uh, the robots and the cars and all absolutely. that, I, I, that that's, I'm a geek, I like to machinery, all that. Well, the robots are all, they're all programmed in Python. So oh, all the Pythonistas. There are, there are bugs in there, <laughs> so come help me find them. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I've seen the robots doing weird things at times, yes, right? At times. <laughs> That's the fun in it. Yes. Uh, okay, Amigo Chris, thank you very much for sharing with the people. Thank you very much. And probably we'll be around later to see the action happening, because right now it's packing time, breakfast time. and we'll We started after the keynotes. Okay, stay tuned. And, uh, oh, as well, we are going to see you later in a panel, right? Right after the keynote. I believe so. Somewhere around there, yes. Okay. So, amigo Chris, see you later. See you later. And thank you very much for uh, this input for the people. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs> so, as you can tell, <clears throat> here in this area is where all the action from the test lab is going to be happening. I know for sure, and I know I have played with it. Come a little bit closer so that I can show you. Those uh, laptops are for some of the programming experiments. I'm pretty sure the Python part uh, happens there. but. Here in the corner, there are some uh, paper straps, paper, big papers, big pages. Get closer <coughs> so that you can see the awesome challenge that these robots have to go through. Here in the desk or tables is like a racetrack where our robots start here. They need to identify these lines and be able to pass through and get to the end point. You are the one that, are, uh, uh, that will detect any defects on the code and figure out why the robots cannot get to the right place. Isn't that awesome? When I saw those exercises and those experiments, I was like, oh my god, little car, little robots, Lego pieces. This is like uh, my childhood again. Uh, only that uh, no one was stepping on the Lego pieces and no, nothing bad was happening. Now, here on the walls, we have some other, um, these questions, these um, riddles that uh, Julie and uh, Chris will be presenting to everyone here in the panel, asking uh, to all the participants. And I have been just uh, pointed out First person to guess this correctly will win a uh, a hundred dollar Amazon gift voucher. Hundred dollars, ain't that cool? But what could you do with a hundred dollars of Amazon buying whatever you want? We can see there Chris is already setting up, having everything ready. In that other side, you can see there are some other challenges, uh, Tesla teasers. Um, stay tuned because those are very interesting, hard to solve, and are the ones that I, I was saying will blue screen you for a little bit. So let's keep moving. The one-on-one -on -one area. Remember a moment ago we were here and didn't things didn't look that pretty? Well, now everything's pretty. Now everything has been set up. Quick tour, quick stop, silly stop. You have seen this area on the earlier days. This is my corner. This is my den where all the mess happened, all the streams. You can see all my garbage all there. Um, K6 is helping. Thank you, K6, for letting us uh, come and uh, present and play with all the things, with all the K6 shoes, everything. Uh, I mean, everything is uh, on point, I hope. <laughs> so this is a little corner where if you know someone that should come and sit here and be interviewed, tell him that uh, Senor Performer is looking for them. Or if you are watching, or, and you'll be here soon, please come by, say hi, and if you want, join the streams, join all the action that we are gonna be doing. Now, uh, last little element, here at the K6 corner, uh, or the streaming corner, because this is a streaming and interview corner, uh, we have some little gifties. 
Do you want a keychain? Do you want a pin, stickers? We have some little goodies for the people. So beware, because I have some surprises for the people in the performance testing panel. Do you know someone here that will go? Or do you want to go? Stay tuned, because I'm going to give something secret. There are going to be goodies. Now, getting on to the, oh my god, lab coat people. So we were spoiling a little our friend Julie. Hello. She's the other lab master, uh, right? I try to be. I try to be as much as I can. Yeah, no, no, definitely you are. You're missing out. Come be at the test lab. We have some fun. Mm -hmm. Test your brain in different ways. We've got robots. We've got an automation zone. We just like to have some fun, just like you. Could you spoil a little bit as a question or something that will leave the audience thinking and blue screened, like what you do at the session in the lab? Well, one of the things that we uh, share is uh, we do a yes and no thing. So a lonely woman jumps off a tall building. On the way down, before hitting the ground, she regrets a decision. Why? And then we answer, only answer yes and no questions to that. Can you eventually find it? Those games are super awesome. I know. I we really them. tease a lot of people. They, they, some people say they can't sleep at night <laughs> <laughs> no. until we give them the answer. But we're not that nice. We don't give them the answer. They've got to work for it. The answer is yes or no. Well, they've got to work out why she died and, and why she decided to jump off, mm -hmm. off a building. And, no, know. but the only answer you can give is yes or no. Ah, well, I'm a little bit nicer. Sometimes I go, well, kind of. You so know, you, you tease like, um, what about? No, I'm not that nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK. You really make them work for it. I do. Good. Because we have to work at it, don't we, as testers? Don't I saw that there were interesting prices, so really people have to work yeah, for that, Yeah, we right? have Amazon gift vouchers. Someone's already won $100. Uh, already? Uh, yeah, already, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, we, saw the, we saw the um, uh, papers and the walls and all the yeah, exercises. Yeah, we're going to be putting up some more test lab teasers in a moment, yeah. So, so um, those were the old ones from yesterday. Um, some of them, and then we're going to keep some up, but then we'll be adding to them, yeah. Okay, because we don't want people like already knowing the answer, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and don't cheat, by the way. You get no you get no rewards for cheating. We've had a couple of people cheat and Google things. No. Yeah, I know, right? Has that happened? Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Now I, <laughs> now I get that in the real world, you might want to use different oracles for certain, certain things, but you know, not in the test lab. We're here to have some fun. You know, mm, definitely. Test the brain. The best tool in the testing toolbox, yeah. apart from K6. Super important, and you need to keep installing stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. Julie Take Gardiner, care. we'll see her around Bye -bye. later. Happy testing. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? As I told you, lab coat and everything. I mean, we are all getting all the customs. It's like a Halloween party, right? No monsters? Yeah. Well, depending on who you ask, but it, if you ask me, Everyone awesome, customs that are on point for all the events. But uh, speaking on point, this uh, time frame for the event is just the very beginning where you can see already people behind me uh, getting ready, getting fed because, well, we need fuel and strength for all the conferences and all our muscles and wiggly pieces of uh, bodies. But um, why don't we sit on here and uh, stand for a little bit because I want to share with you, that's why I have been carrying all the Star East guide that has all the content of what is going to be happening today. I'm going to do a close up here to the camera if you can see. We also have the map with everything. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the star of the show. Uh, <laughs> hello, good morning, Ali. You know, everybody else is the stars at this conference. I love it. We are all stars. Yeah, we are all stars. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Star East. Keynotes kick off in a few minutes, so I'm going to go into the general session room and get ready. Go for it. Go for it. Thanks, yeah, Leandro. we don't want the keynote to be late. Thank you very much, Ali. <laughs> and we'll spoil a little the keynote in a moment. Adios. So, in the keynote, in the area, here we have a map where all the rooms are being displayed. All of these areas in the conference center are going to be packed up with people, with presenters, with talks, with situations that we are going to be having among these days. Um, 24 rooms ready for talks, for action that is going to be happening. 
even concurrently, because something that um, caught my attention, and I'm gonna do a quick uh, show here. You can see how many tracks we have. There are so many things that are gonna be happening at the same time here in the conference. So why don't we go through them? I'm sure that you are wondering, and just me showing you um, may not be super efficient. So first, as Alison mentioned, we're gonna have the keynotes, super important. Right now, what time is it? We still have about 20 minutes of uh, breakfast, some fun, getting ready, getting fed. And after that, there are the opening remarks because yeah, welcome, uh, Star East, we're happy, all those good things and welcoming from Ali most probably that um, yeah, she's always super happy that we have people coming back after the pandemic, after all the lockdowns and that all these awesome situations and events had to pause. Well, the coming back to normal has been a little bit gradual. So it's really cool that um, we are getting back people, more numbers, more registrations. And even from last year to this year, we have even more people. And I'm sure she's happy to see that. I'm really happy because we are being able to get together with more friends and uh, see each other face to face, one to ones, uh, like uh, with the Genius Bar. But after those opening remarks, we have the first keynote, and the title is pretty awesome. Quality is like ogres, you know, Shrek-like, ogres, green, big. Um, I don't want to call them monsters. That, that feels wrong, right? But ogres are special, you know, onions and uh, have multiple layers. But this keynote is presented by Jana Loeffler. Uh, Jana, hopefully, if we're lucky, we're going to have some interview time with her and we're going to find out more. What is the deal with these ogres? Because personally, I'm very curious, like, uh, like the multi-layered onion ogres or just from like monster ogres or what are we talking about? I'm curious. And what does that have to do with QA? Following next, we have the second keynote because when we open at uh, Star East and Star West, we have two keynotes on the first day. Um, I just said on the first day, what happens on the second? Just one keynote, I was right. <laughs> I just wanted to check. Uh, second keynote of the day, today, REST API testing strategies going beyond request and response. What is beyond? I'm actually like, ain't that it? I know that there's a backend. I know that there's a, a protocol or a layer where the message that request and response is happening. Who receives the message? I'm wondering, I'm just guessing here, but um, Julio de Lima and uh, he already wrote up, most probably we will have some conversation with them uh, where, because I'm really curious of what the keynote is gonna be about. Now, after that, we ha we're gonna have a brief networking break at the expo where people are gonna go, meet uh, the booths, the present, the sponsors, all the organizations, talk to each other, get some prizes. I think there's a bingo there are some other games that are going to be happening through the conference and some online situations that people watching through the feed will be able to see. Now, after that, sadly, I won't be able to give you a walkthrough right away after the keynotes because something special is going to happen. So from 11.30 to 12.30, we're going to have several tracks at the same time. First, we're going to have... Um, Rest in peace, UI test automation. That sounds uh, tough. You failed. Wow, I love the title for this talk. CX observability will lead us to software quality. Observability. I love it. I already am curious as well. Uh, presented by Alex Martins from Relics. I think uh, we saw him on the um, testing bar. Next, levering machine learning and AI for quality assurance. Machine learning, AI, it's a rage nowadays. We definitely want to find out what is going to be presented by David Deng from Synergy. At the same time, third track, we're on the third one. Debunking the QA KPI myths and make KPI great again. Key KPI, key performance indicators. So most probably this has to do with performance from Lisette Sunon from Fort Robotics. Let's see if I can have a word and 
um, I have a feeling that it's about performance. If so, could be cool to have her in a panel, right? Uh, fourth track, four. Uh, the 10 steps for effective mainframe testing from Mark uh, Schettenhelm. Uh, we saw his uh, name on the um, testing bar. Definitely, it's going to be around uh, mainframe. Still relevant, still important. Many think that uh, mainframe is dead. No, it's still around. It's very important. All your clouds, whatever cloud, uh, are sitting on a mainframe. So imagine you're above the cloud. Ooh, that's interesting, right? So track five, five, and I'm barely halfway there. Why your digital engineering effort will not produce results, the results that you think? From Suzette Johnson and Robin Yemen. So why digital engineering effort will not produce results that you're thinking? I mean, I can think of several reasons why that may not happen. I'm wondering, I'm curious, what reasons are they going to present? Now, number six, track six, we're already in six, and still a few to go. Automation face-off with Chris Loader, our friend from the Tesla, and this is one of the first panels. That's why, from after we finish this, we're going to run to that room and try to give you a review of what is going to be uh, happening and being told at the panels. That's why I'm not going to be walking around. We have uh, some in industry technical presentations. So first, we had six tracks, and we have three more. Innovating at the speed of imagination is testing the bottleneck from Dr. Parak Doshi. Next track, seven, eight, track eight. Eight track already. At the same time, Salon 5, the rise of AI bots. Oh, that's our dangerous AI bots. Terminator. Strategies for effective testing and quality assurance by Amit Deshpande from our friends on Kairos. He has been um, in the interview couches several times with me. And last, the ninth track of the conference, lowering the barrier to performance testing. Ah, that's one of mine. Uh, by o Owen Henley and Fernando Matos from Mabel. Our friends, I think Fernando, uh, he has been coming by. <clears throat> Another one that I I think we should have at that panel. All that happened at the same time, from 11.30 to 12.30. Now, let's move to the next block because we're going to have lunch at lunchtime. And after that, from 1.30 to 2.45, we're going to have several tracks as well, nine more. Introduction to Test Orchestration by Chris Harvard. I think that uh, we saw him uh, over there earlier. Next, data science and system testing lessons learned from four-part workshop series by Scott Tiley. I'm curious about this one. Data science is super important nowadays as well. Next, implementing a whole team quality approach to software development and startup environment. I mean, software development and quality is super important, especially in startups, and is where it is easier to implement. Next, delivering quality with the correct strategy from Adriana Trueva. We, Ariadna, Ariadna. Yes, I remember that. I saw the name. <coughs> I pronounced the name wrong earlier. Uh, so the correct right strategy for quality, super important. We should not be using ancient uh, quality strategies. We are <clears throat> on the new age now. Next, high octane DevOps, supercharged CICD pipelines with Mark Jimenez and Prashant Patil uh, as well, part of the members of the one-on-one -on -one bar. Uh, very interesting, super important to do things right on CICD. Now, wink, wink, performance, assurance, and SRE panel. I wonder who will be presenting that. Yeah, here, your amigo, Senor Performer, Leandro Melendez. I'm going to be uh, leading that panel. And uh, let's see what interesting conversations. Again, that one is going to be streamed. Stay tuned. Next, don't let poor testing strategies compromise your quality. Yeah, if your testing strategy doesn't work, you won't have quality, period by Michael O'Rourke. So, Michael, let's see what does he present. Next, generative AI and autonomous testing, the future of software quality engineering, by uh, the amigo Eddie Urienda, Urenda from Hexaware Technologies. Um, we had the interview with him last Star West. Uh, 
you, as you know, if you know, former boss, one of my first bosses in quality, awesome guy, definitely pay attention to it. And AI, I'm really curious. Last for that block, unlocking the power of quality engineering, how to build testing tools that make a difference. Yeah, testing tools are also cornerstone. I am a little bit surprised that it's first time, the first time that is mentioned, they are mentioned in a uh, talk by John McEvoy and Justin Hank. Very important, tools are key elements. We, we have to have many, not a single tool, and we gotta be careful in what we choose. Now, moving on. From 2.45 to 3.45, the last block of talks for the day is gonna be first. A journey to better automation with a screenplay pattern from Sarah Watkins, our uh, friend Sarah from Q2. She's gonna be telling us about uh, screenplay patterns. Super important because at times we need to work with, uh, with the screen, uh, cape pla uh, the screenplay pla patterns because uh, not everything is protocol, we still need to work a little bit on the front end. And I'm very curious of what uh, Sarah is gonna tell us, most probably around, because she's participating in the tutorials. She's helping and presenting a tutorial and helping everyone. Now, next, uh, testing machine learning functionality, the need for a new way of thinking from Martin Karsberg. This is very important because even I personally, I'm not entirely sure how to test machine learning how to test AI. That's a very interesting talk. Uh, I recommend, I would go, <laughs> we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. Next, integration of Ali, or um, it's not Ali, it's Ali accessibility uh, audits into test automation by our friend Boris uh, Vrobel. This is really important because uh, accessibility, that's another area. It's the first thing that is mentioned in the talks. Uh, not all of us can do the things that everyone can. It's very important that we create software that everyone that has any challenge can use, everyone. We need to be inclusive. We need to help everyone and not only think of whoever has all the capabilities like uh, most people do, it's important. Next. Uh, testing and release strategy for native and Android iOS apps by uh, Anand Bagmar. This is another one that I'm a little bit surprised that I haven't seen anything mobile or um, on uh, smart applications, smart platforms, smartphones, smart devices. Um, they are not catching that, more attention, that, that much attention lately. Interesting. I wonder why. I mean, okay. Focus, let's keep moving. <laughs> um, next one, tactics for testing DevOps infrastructure code. And um, DevOps has this principle, uh, infrastructure as code. I think that we should test that area as well and know that our infrastructure is good. There are several initiatives, best practices and processes trying to keep up with this. <clears throat> Presentation by Derek Ashmore. Also very interesting because sometimes DevOps has all a huge mess with all the infrastructure as code. Now, next, modern test automation strategies, a panel, another panel that again, we're gonna be streaming. Stay tuned, you'll be able to watch it later today from 2.45 to 3.45 with uh, our friends Melissa Benua, remember she was in the interview uh, last Star West, and Jana Leffler the keynote speaker, so you will have a panel with a keynote speaker. Oh my God, this is awesome, right? Again, streamed, you'll be able to see it. Next, we have application coverage is the quality metric you need by Kevin Parker. I'm curious because um, coverage is a measurement that is hard to measure. Sounds redundant, right? But it is, in, it's, I think in some sort of way, that's the reason why it is redundant and difficult. Moving on, get with the times. How to incorporate DevOps into your ERP transformation. ERPs, that's another one that it's been a while that I haven't heard. Interesting because we are still working with ERPs. It's still a big corner store, cornerstone in all the organizations and um, there's a lot of work around it. So check it out. And last, the last, last, last regular talk Common talk, well, not regular, that sounds diminishing. Standard talk, there you go. Uh, of the day, 
uh, well, in the track, not the, the, the last last. API testing in Kubernetes, transparent remoting using HCL, HCL one test by Martin Lesquier, Lesquier, uh, sorry Martin, um, from HCL software. So how to use their tool, most probably, to test API in Kubernetes. Really important, Kubernetes containers and the cloud is the rage right now. So um, curious what is gonna happen. After all those talks, several talks, as I said, uh, three times nine, 27 talks, 27, can you believe in a single day? So much. After that, we'll have a break, networking break, uh, I, and we will have the closing remarks and the closing keynotes. We have here the lightning keynotes, lightning, strike, lightning strikes the keynotes, where we will have 10 speakers, 10 people that will come, give a very short presentation, talk uh, very briefly about a given topic. Usually they are super fun, super brief, lightning, quick, 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 and you get an overdose in a quick uh, set of steps that all these awesome speakers are gonna come. Stay tuned, and that's part of the stream. In, if you are registered in the Star East uh, platform. So register for the keynotes, it's free. If you haven't, go get your number, get your access. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or LinkedIn, go and register because if you wanna see the opening keynotes and closing keynotes, lightning strikes, you can, free, gratis. Isn't that in interesting? If this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. And that's it. At the end, we will have a, an expo at the reception. I'm gonna do another stream by the end of day to show you how the day went and to give a brief uh, closure into what was the situation. Now, we are done with the schedule. Quite a schedule, right? Let me just drop it here so that I, we are not carrying around. We still have a few minutes of this stream and I wanna show you the last awesome thing of the day. I don't know if you can hear, there are some things happening around and that indicates that we are about to be convoked, invoked, I don't know what is the right one, to the uh, keynote area, to the main ballroom. But first, this is the part that I love to share uh, with you all. Sorry, everyone is getting ready and on their way to the uh, main area. But let's see what the people were having uh, for breakfast in these days. Everything is being packed up already. Cool, we have country sausage. Again, you cannot uh, smell this, but I'm slightly hungry. <laughs> this smells awesome. Some applewood um, bacon, smoked bacon, scrambled eggs, roasted fingerling, fingerling potatoes. That looks uh, pretty good. Uh, are you all drooling? I can see my camera girl already making faces and drooling a little bit. Little muffins with chocolate, key lime uh, lemon pie, um, marble loaf is the name of that thing. I, I, we have several things. Oh my God, something to put together. This goes with anything, anything. It's um, yum, yum, yum. And uh, we had some yogurt uh, over there before they take it away. There was some fruit, juices. As you can see, you will start your conference time very well refreshed, very well fed, happy, and with awesome Nutella and uh, many other things that will keep you happy and uh, feeling well. Let's, we still have a few minutes. Let's go and look, everyone enjoying their, the awesome things that here at the conference you can get. Now you can see all of these people are about to go and be entertained, learn a lot, have uh, awesome experiences at the conference, talk, can you hear the bells dinging? That's, that's a call. We are being uh, invoked. Oh, no, that's a different one. Uh, so all these people are gonna be soon getting into the keynote area. They are getting breakfast, getting food. I'm already drooling, thinking of yum, 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 a little good breakfast. So all these people, I think, I don't remember if I did it last year, there's more people than last year. And I'm super happy, as I said, we're past the pandemic, things are going back to normal. And why not next year, next to start something, next uh, DevOps, um, no, Agile and DevOps East, Agile and DevOps West, register, come by. These things are super awesome. 
you get awesome food, awesome friends, awesome interactions, knowledge, masters of the testing all over the place. And speaking of the masters of uh, the testing, let's get into the keynote area so that you can see uh, how things are about to start and get uh, cool, interesting. Everything is being packed up. You can see all the crowd, everyone is starting to move um, into the main area. All the pack is being invoked. Let's walk over. We're gonna see, and, and, and you can tell, we are putting our steps. How many do we have already? 3,000. Oh, how did I do that? Everyone is getting ready and being convoked, invoked. Oh, my English. Invoked? Sounds good? Is that right? Something feels weird. But we will follow people into the main area. We're going to go past through the registration area and past the exposition zone. After, there's the main ballroom, if I remember well from the map. Long walk, right? Uh, the camera girl is uh, already saying, like, yeah, why are you making me work so much? Nah, I'm fine, she's fine. We are doing great. As you can see, this is an, a huge conference area. We are having uh, so much activity. Oh my God, can you see there at the bottom? Can you see those lights? Something is shiny, right? Weird and shiny with music. Lots of people heading over there. Four minutes, under four minutes to start. So let's get in here and see what is happening. As you can see, the keynotes are being shown here. What is going to happen in a few moments? Keynote one, keynote two, and keynote three at the end of the day. Let's walk in and see how the action is being set up. We have music. We have all the attitude. We have people dancing. <laughs> Ain't that the attitude of someone is happy? <laughs> so let's park here. Up there, new from last year, we have now two screens. The presenter at the middle, it's going to be a huge show. Please stay tuned. If you are on the platform, on Star East's uh, platform, you'll be able to watch it. I cannot stream that outside. I mean, it's part of the uh, deal here. So if you want to watch them, you can register, log in into the platform, and take a look at all the awesome keynotes that are going to be streamed in a couple of minutes. To give time to everyone to set up, for us to turn off and to not to add noise and uh, give distractions to the people, that's it for now. We're going to stop the stream in a moment and we're going to uh, let everyone be set up. You can see people keep walking in. This is going to be packed in a moment. So the fun is about to begin. Stay tuned. This is the official kickoff and start for Star East 2023 from Orlando, Florida. Stay tuned. Thank you if you made it to, uh, up to this point, and we'll see you soon. Stay tuned for the panels. Adios. Well, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>